Yo, what up, good people? What up, good people? It's your boy, Jonathan R. Whitfield, coming back at you once again with another video. So today I got my blessed MLS, Atlanta United Championship Cup scar. So you know Atlanta United soccer team, football club, won the MLS, MLS Cup this past Saturday, or oh, two Saturdays ago. Uh, this is our first championship in the city in over 22 years in Atlanta. Um, and the soccer team is only their second year in existence, so... The city is real hype. I was at the game at Mercedes-Benz Stadium, and it was lit, man. It was lit. Y'all should have been there. But we proud of the team, so I got to represent today. Ah, let's get my scarf game going so y'all can see the logo. Yeah. So here, let's, get, let's go ahead and get into it, man. So today's video is going to be about signs or ways to tell if the Virgo man is falling in love with you. Signs on how to tell the Virgo man is falling in love with you. Now. I actually got this idea from one of my subscribers, right? We were having an email session and we were talking. She was like, maybe you should do a video on the signs to tell or ways to tell if a Virgo man is falling in love with you. People would be very interested in that. I'm glad she said that because I've been working on that for a while, actually. I've been thinking about that and writing stuff down. And, you know, so here we are. We're going we're gonna to get into it. Disclaimer, I always do this before every video. Um, the Zodiac sign, particularly the Virgo are only guidelines of the traits of particular individuals that may fall under a particular sign, right? Um, it's not the end all be all, it's not law. Uh, there are exceptions to every rule and I do not speak in absolutes. So it may not apply to every single Virgo man or every Zodiac sign may not apply to every single person under that sign, but it does apply to most and they will definitely have some of these traits. So with that being said, also, I want to thank everybody for commenting, liking, sharing, and subscribing to my page, and liking the videos. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. We're like 955, 956 at the posting of this video. So we're almost at a thousand, man. Once we get to a thousand, I'm going to be doing, once we get to a thousand, I'm going to be doing live sessions, live chatting, and asking some of your questions on the spot, going back and forth, engaging more with you guys and my subscribers. So let's keep that pushing, keep that going. Also, so let me say this, you guys know I'm doing private sessions, so if you need help with or advice or anything like that with dating, relationships, um, self-help, Virgos, of course, Virgo men, of course, definitely email me. We have a private session. We can set something up. We can get it going. Um, the response has been great so far. Now, let me say this. This is also my business. I've been doing this for years, and I'm just now bringing it to YouTube and online and social media and things like that. So I give you guys my best work. My time is valuable, you know, but I also make sure if you guys set up a session with me, I make sure that I give you my best. I think about it. I dedicate myself to it. And we go in. We have a conversation together. And we walk through whatever issues you may have, or issues, concerns you may have. We walk through it together. Make sure we get to a solution. Or I make you have a better understanding of your situation. I do it from the heart. I love doing it. This is what I do. So you yeah, definitely support the page. My email is Jonathan. Not Jonathan. My email is jwhitfieldinspires at gmail.com. So y'all go support that. So today, signs and ways to tell if a Virgo man likes you. Let's go ahead and get into it. One of the first ways to tell if a Virgo man is falling in love with you is if he lets you see his faults. This is a big, this is a big one. Now, if a Virgo man lets you see his faults, that's a surefire way to understand or see or know that he's falling in love with you. Why? Because we don't let anybody see our faults. We don't let people in like that. Our faults to us are sacred, right? <clears throat> we hide, well, I don't want to say hide, but we conceal everything. We are very reserved. We are very guarded. And it's hard to, for us to open up and let somebody in. So if we, if, we begin to, if we begin to let a woman in, see our shortcomings, uh, our vulnerabilities, then we will fall in love with you. Because that means he trusts you. That means he's been to love you. That means he sees you as a person that won't hurt him. Because we are very critical, we criticize, and Virgo is a sign of perfection. It's a sign of, um, it's a sign of love. So, with that being said, we seek perfection, right? But there are no, there's no greater critic than ourselves, right? We criticize ourselves more than anybody. This is what we do all day long, trying to get it right, trying to get it right. And so, if you come to him telling him his faults and stuff like that, he already knows. He already knows. But he's going to show you more of the stuff that you may not know about him. You know, but he, he's only going to do this. He's starting to fall in love with you. because He got to trust that you're not going to use these things against him. It's almost like an think about a recording artist. 
when a recording artist goes in the studio, the world really doesn't see unless the cameras are allowed in the studio. The world doesn't doesn't see the process of of him or her in that studio making that music. Why? Because these are very vulnerable, sacred moments. In the studio, in, re in recording sessions, you're writing stuff down, you're singing, sometimes you sound bad. You got, you got tracks that you recorded that sound bad that you're gonna throw away that you would never put out, you know, if you're a recording artist. And the same way with Virgo Man. Uh, it's like in his studio, so to speak. You know, so if he let you inside, he let you see his faults. He let you see things that sometimes his mother doesn't, doesn't even see. His, his brother, his sister, his friends. So if you're in that position, you just know. And you have to respect that position too. So another way to tell if the Virgo man is falling in love with you, if he allows you into his personal space. Yes, this kind of goes with number one. If he allows you, or he's beginning to allow you in his, in his personal space. And I'm not talking about like McDonald's or Walmart or something like that. I'm talking about like maybe his room or places he just know, people just don't see like that, you know. Uh, if he sort of allow you in that personal space, personal space, then he's definitely starting to fall in love with you. And this means that once again that he's beginning to trust you. He's getting comfortable with you because we move slow, right? Think about the earth. Virgo is an earth sign. Think about the earth. You have to water plants. You have to water things, and you have to nurture it in order for these things to grow. It takes time, but when it does grow, it yields beautiful fruit, beautiful fruits. And so, but if you misuse these plants and you don't treat the plants right, they don't yield any fruit. They, they they close up. They don't bloom for you. They don't shine for you. And the Virgo man is the same way. You know, when you when you when he gets comfortable with you, he starts to open up. He starts to bloom for you and shine for you. He starts to do anything for you. And he'll let you in his personal space. This is sacred territory, to be honest. This how we this is how we view it, this is how we feel about it. Um, so you gotta respect that. Um, you gotta know that. Also, his personal space can consist of like showing you his finances. Things he's working on, his ideas, things like that. This is very personal to us because we hold a lot of stuff in. And we do want a woman to be in that personal space with us, but we just can't trust everybody because we don't know who is right for us. We don't know who's going to take the things or misuse or judge us for the things that may, we may want to do. See, allowing you in, in his personal space, it means a lot because we have, to get the, we have to get the energy right. If he's starting to do that, because like I said, we spend so much time alone trying to get this thing right with ourselves that we are we are affected about people's presence and energies because we are very spiritual beings right so if we start allowing you in our personal space like that that means he's he's getting used to you but he 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 got the balance right the balance between himself and the things he's going through and the balance between your energy as a woman as a lover he finally got it right he's trying to he's trying to get it right where he can handle it because we get thrown off very easily. Our personal space is, 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 is almost like a temple, right? Because this is where we get it together. We, we re-up, you know, meditation, prayer. Like I say, I'm a minister, so I do it a lot. And we just need this time. But when we let you in here, that means the balance is right. That means your energy is right. That means he can handle who you are. Because women, you guys bring a lot of emotions. And that's not a bad thing. But a regular man has to be able to handle the female or the woman that you are, so he can treat you right. So he can he won't have you feeling bad. So, but in order to do that, he gotta let you in his face slowly but surely. And being in love is one of the best ways to do it. And also, the best way to get a regular man in love with you or fall in love with you is pretty much just being his presence. Though we push people away, you still gotta push to try to get in his presence because we have to be around you. We have to see you. We have to see how you interact. You know, social media and stuff. That that that's cool, but the better way would be is to be in his presence. So if he's doing this or he's letting you in this, you should definitely be you should be happy. You should be just know that he he's falling in love with you and he's gonna do it slowly, but it takes time. So understand that Virgo man takes time to do these things. Another way to tell if a Virgo man is falling in love with you, if he and this is a really big one, this may be the most important one, if he invites you to meet his mother or his family members, but particularly his mother. This is huge because most Virgo men are very close to their mothers or the mother figure in his life. It could be his aunt, his grandmother, big sister or something like that. Just whoever the highest ranking woman in his life, so to speak. If he takes you to meet her, then he's definitely falling in love with you because, excuse me, we don't. Our mothers to us are, are it's like royalty. This is very, very sacred. 
it's taken for most men anyway. Well, see, we don't want to bring home no junk to our mothers. We don't want to disrespect our mother like that. When we bring a woman home to our mothers, we want her to know that, well, first, we're looking for a woman, we're looking for a woman who can be a mother, who can be a wife, who can be a friend, you know, who can compliment us, who can help us in our business, who we can walk together with. You know, we we not really, we're not taken by looks. I mean, we love looks just like any man, right? However, to get to to lock that deal, it go beyond looks. We look in the soul. We look in the mind. What can you do? Who are you? You know, what kind of woman are you? So that's important to us. So when we figure that out, we have to we have to watch you for a while because it, sometimes it takes a while. It takes a while. We're not gonna bring just no anybody home to our mothers because to our mothers she's the queen, you know. And all we want to do is just present a great human being to our mother that our mother can be proud of. And, and nine times out of ten, if we are bringing a woman home to our mother, she already approves of this woman because she knows that we take our time to pick women. You know, she knows we picked a, a beautiful woman, a, a nice woman that's going to compliment us. So, you know, I say in my own personal life, I say in my whole life, I probably brought maybe about three women home. Maybe. Um, yeah, about three. And two of them, one of them doesn't count because I was in high school. It was, it was kind of automatic. The next one was, was in college. And the next one was like maybe a few years ago. But this was years apart. You know, I, I take my time with it because this, I just want y'all to know how sacred, how big of a deal this is for Virgo men. This will make or break you, you know, because if you out there wilding, he's not going to bring you home to his mom because he knows his mom's not going to prove of that. You know, he, he don't want to embarrass himself to his mother, his father, his family, you know. We are known as mama boys. Some, they, 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 that's what people say. But we just want to present a great person to our to our mothers and, you know, it takes a great woman to hold that position. If he's doing that for you, he definitely loves you. Or he's falling in love with you. Cause we don't bring anybody home. I've dated women, nice women, that I still never, never took them home because it just never, it never materialized. You know, and he's not just gonna take you just because you're dating for a few months. It, you gotta earn that. You know, you have to. With Virgo, we are very traditional. You have to earn things. That doesn't mean you have to go out your way and jump jump through hoops. But just like with the most women. You know, let me have this 90 day ruling thing. You have to earn her trust. So, same with Virgo men. We don't care about sex like that. You have to earn these sacred positions in our life because we're not just going to give it to anybody. If you think about royalty, we're not just going to, you don't just come into royalty. You have to earn it. You have to be picked. You know, you have to be, you have to be somebody special. And that's just how we feel about it. And it, 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 it doesn't mean you're not special, but it's just how we view things. That's how it is. I know a lot of people don't like that, but. If you are, then we'll, we'll, we'll let you. Another way to tell if a Virgo man has fallen in love with you, he sacrifices his time for you. Now, when he, when he begins to sacrifice his time for you, that's another way to tell if he likes you, well, if he loves you. Now, I made another video a few months ago about how to tell the Virgo man likes you. And this one is how to tell the Virgo man has fallen in love with you. They're very similar, but at the same time, they're very different because love and like are two different things. If you like somebody, you'll give somebody a piece of gum. You might give them a ride to Walmart. If you love them, it's going to be unconditional. You might let them borrow your car. You might go out of your way. You might go across the moon for them, you know what I'm saying? And you're going to do things that you normally wouldn't do for them if you love them. But if he sacrifices his time for you, the reason why this is a big deal, because we love, we honor our time alone and our space. This is why the Virgo men be ghosting women a lot. Not because we just plan, trying to play games, simply because we have to have time alone, we have to reboot. We, we go through so much because our spiritual energies are very high, right? Our spiritual energies are very high, and so we have to take time for ourselves and just and just get it together, you know? And we, sometimes we don't know what to say or how to say to people, girlfriends, mamas, everybody. And it just takes time. But when we step away from that time and start to get that time to you, we are definitely falling in love. Because that, this means that we we start to view you, and not, not higher than ourselves, but... We start to mold ourselves for you. You know, we start to fall in love. We start to become one with you. And so you're earning more of our time. We'll stop what we're doing, no matter how important it is, just to come see about you. Just make sure you're straight. You can hit him up 3 in the morning. He might be meditating or something. She's like, I need you to come right now. And he'll do it. But he'll only do it if he's starting to fall in love with you and he's starting to see you as somebody he can be with for the rest of his life, somebody he can trust, somebody who's worthy of that. Because we, the reason why we feel this way, because we know once we in that place, we're going to give this woman all that we have. 
she's going to like and want nothing. Because it's just what we do. You know, we, we're, we're love. So we're going to make sure she get that and want that and need that. And another way to tell if a Virgo man is falling in love with you, he reveals his secrets to you. Now, Virgo men, we have a lot of secrets, a lot of secrets, a lot of hidden things. Not necessarily secrets that other people have told have told us. We're not going to reveal those things. We're talking about our own personal secrets, our own personal things that we've been through in life. Um, if he begins to tell you these things and reveal it, that means he really, really trusts you. That means he really sees you as a woman who's not going to play him, who's going to honor him, who's going to respect him, not going to look at him differently for the things that he tells you. See, Virgo men... We are known to be wise beyond our years. I was wise beyond my years at a very young age. You know, um, people always told me that. We're old souls. That's just what we do because we're analytical. We analyze everything and we go over things and we just know stuff. You know, we, we can read people very, 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 very well. That's just what we do and who we are. But with that being said, that caused us to have a lot of secrets. We've been through a lot of stuff in life, stuff we can't even tell our parents, friends. But we will tell that significant other, though. We will tell that woman that we love if we feel she's that one. Because we, we are always looking for that one to be with us. That's one of our greatest desires. But we'll take our time with it. Virgo men will be single for a long time and be perfectly fine. And not, we're not in a rush because we want to get it right. You know, that's why we move so low. We move so slow. We just want to get it right. And we're not in a rush to get it wrong. We, we don't really jump from relationship to relationship to relationship. That's just not us. We don't like that because it's boring. You know, we don't want to waste our time and energy and women just take our expertise and just go run away. We don't care about her getting mad. We, we, we got to get it right. And we feel like everybody should be that way because you're talking about your life. You're talking about something you're dedicating yourself to. So why not take your time? You take your time, you're buying a car. You take your time, you're buying a house. Why not take your time when you dedicate and give somebody your, give somebody your entire soul, your body, and your mind? That's why a lot of stuff is messed up out here. That's how we feel. And the last way... One of a very important way to tell a Virgo man is fall in love with you. If he promotes you on his social media, now he, if he promotes you on his social media, he definitely fall in love with you. Because one, we don't really do social media like that. I mean, we do. You know, we we, on, we definitely own social media. But as far as placing a woman on there that we are in a relationship with, we don't really like stuff like that because we don't like people to be in our business. We don't like people to be in our business because everybody has an opinion, you know, you're not going to be in a relationship with him for two months and then he's going to change his Facebook status. It's not going to happen because relationships come and go. You know, you see people who, who go on Facebook, they change their Facebook status, then the next month it's all over, like, yo, what happened? You know, he want to make sure everything is secure before he reveals the world, veers you to the world. You know, because he don't want to be embarrassed. We hate embarrassment. He's not going to be embarrassed. He's not going to be look crazy. He's going to make sure he's right before he puts you out there like that. You know, um, some people are different. Some people love to put it on Facebook. I, I used to love it. Um, I know it was my social media when people, you know, I, okay, I'll say this. A lot of Virgo men have different women on their social media, but these women are friends, even, even maybe dates or something like that. But it would be a clear difference between a woman he maybe went on a date with or just hanging out with for the woman he loves. It's going to be a, the world would know. You know, when I used to put women on my social media, a woman I was dating or in a relationship with, people knew the difference because of how I portrayed it all the time. They knew the difference between me having homegirls or some chick I was hanging out with or even a date, they knew the difference. And it was it was a huge difference. Because when I actually put my relationship out there, it was a big, whoa, that's who, you know? Because I want to get it right. And before I do that, I make sure she's cool with my friends. Not everybody, you know, my close friends, some of my family members. We're going we're gonna, to, because we, uh, we are strategic and we do it right. So, but at the same time, we don't want everybody in our business. So if he's not putting you on social media like that, don't be alarmed. You still may see him with other chicks on social media. But it's a difference, you know. But he'll, he'll do it after a while. Don't push him to do it. He wanted to be natural, you know, because if you push him to do it, you can definitely ask him about it. But if you push him to do it, just let, just let his timing be right. Let the time be right, because that's how it is with Virgo men. One relationship I was in, the chick was pushing me to do it, pushing me to do it. I said, hey, I'm going to do it when it's time. You know, I'm not ashamed of you. I have nothing to be ashamed about. However, if I'm a, when I, we care about our reputations. How, we, we value our character. We value our reputation. We're not going to, Jeopardize our reputation for nobody, no man, no woman, not even our mothers. We just we don't. We see we like okay maybe a woman gonna do what she does, but we gonna do it right. But when we do it, the world gonna know it's gonna be beautiful. He gonna make you shine. He gonna put you on a pedestal, you know. Cause we are hopeless romantics, but we just wanna get it right. We just wanna get it right, and we we are 
lovers lovers you know what i'm saying and this is just what we do but when we put you out there we want to make sure the things are in the right place so yeah so these are just ways a few ways to tell the broken man likes you or oh, i mean loves you and fall in love with you of course there are more ways but i think these are very these are maybe some of the top few ways so um yeah man again if y'all got questions and stuff like that about your own situation definitely email me jwhitfieldinspires at gmail.com we're almost at a thousand subscribers. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and let's get it. And I appreciate y'all. Let's make it happen.